<laughs> We're jacking it up. We're gonna see how bad the damage is. Damn, look at that shit. The control arm broke off. The axle. Even though the control arm is all bent up, I'm gonna try to put the axle back in and move it. It's fucking parked out crazy. We're taking out the control arm. It's three 18 millimeter. Two on this side, one on that side. So that other bolt came out perfect. The nuts are spinning on top. I'm gonna figure out if it's a 17 or a 18. So what is it? A 18. And we got the second one. So the one on the right, you can get with the wrench angled this way. The one in the back, you can get if you put the wrench straight through here on top of the, the bushing. Turn, once the nut starts turning, just get it, get it at an angle to where you can put the wrench right over it like this. And then just hit it with the impact. Shit out. Hopefully we can get it out because it hits up against this uh, sway bar. I put it back in. I'm gonna put it in at an angle like that. And then I'm just swing it up and over, and I don't have to remove the sway bar. That shit. Damn. I might just replace everything. I'll still pay less than 500 for all the parts. I'm gonna just get the bearing and the axle all together. Alright guys, I'll keep you updated as far as we can get. I might try to move the car forward. I'll just tie the strut to the frame so that it holds the wheel in place. And I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Here's the control arm. Popped right out of there. Look at the lower ball joint. Look how bent that shit is. And then the axle. The axle broke off. I don't know if we might be able to save it. Alright guys, now here's the vehicles that it'll fit, 2004 through 2005 Chevy Malibu, new body style, 06 to 2012, 05 to 2010 Pontiac G6, and 07 to Saturn Aura, Aura, what the fuck is that, I never heard of that shit, so... So I'm going to write them down, and then I'm going to look and see if they have any of those cars at the junkyard. New, the control arm is 140, and the CV axle is 104. And there's two different lengths, so you might have to take your luck to give us all the brands and part numbers. So if we want to make it easy. Look at that. They have a 07 Pontiac G6. I'm going to go get that. And we got two of these Saturns. And we have one of the old uh, Buick 04 to 05. So I have like five cars to choose. Alright guys, so we're going to get our control arm for 20 bucks, $10 core charge, CV axle for 15 $5 core. I'm going to take the parts off and take them with me so I can match them up. So in total, I'll be paying like 40 bucks for taxes.
um, compared to so we'll be saving two hundred and ten dollars all right so I tied the shock to the subframe don't do this, this is what I'm doing I need to straighten out the car need is the strut to stay in position I don't want the wheel to go back too far or you know forward too far all right so that's where we're at but it's gonna have to do I just need to move fucking two feet at the most it's working slowly moving it It's sitting way better. Look at where the ass was before. Okay. We're here for that control arm. We're gonna get it either from a Pontiac G607 or a 07 Malibu. This is the one from the 07. It looks just like it. All we gotta do is make sure that the bush in here isn't fucked. You guys will be able to see it. There's a crack. There's a crack. If you need to get a lower control arm off of uh, the Saturn, whatever the fuck is called, I'll put the name in the title. Um, you can bang the bolt straight behind the mount. I don't know how you get it back, but if you only need to remove it. Oh, there it goes. It'll come right out. So, bang it under the mount. This is our donor control arm. I mean, the ball drain isn't the best, but it'll do. So again guys, if you want to get this bolt out, unscrew it, and then come in from this side and hit it with the screwdriver and tuck it into the... We're putting everything back together. I'm just going to take apart the ball joint. It's still stuck right here. Alright, we just got the ball joint out. That was what was in our way. Now we're going to try to put this control arm in and up hopefully I can get it without having to remove the strut most likely I will my luck so the easiest way to put it back in is get the right side started and then just turn the bushing in and it'll fall right in place do have to loosen the bushing so it can swivel now I'm gonna put the boot on the axle you're gonna lose none of the bearings and it should drop right into place and let's see if I can move it after that alright, got this put in it's a little ripped, that's fine alright, we're gonna start putting the bolts in I completely covered this shit in anti-seize we get salt out here now we got one in, and the second one. <clears throat> All right, and in order to get the lower ball joint in the wheel hub, you have to take out the top bolt on the strut, and then you have to line it up, use the help of a jack to push it up, then put the bolt through. Bolt it up and you're done. And then we got everything in there. You're tying up the strut. Then I'm gonna jack the control arm a little bit. And then I'm gonna tighten that up. <clears throat> Alright, so the control arm is level. You don't wanna tighten it when it's dangling. <sighs> I kind of want to turn it how the car would be sitting. Like the top ones, we're going to hold the nut from the top. Just 
drive it in from the bottom. Got the one closest to the back. And this to the side on here. We got both of them. Now we're just gonna finish tying them up. All right, get the front one. And that's as good as it gets. We need a new bumper, new headlight, and a fender. I'm about to take it for a test drive. Let's see what else is fucked up with it. Lights work. It's actually driving pretty good. Um, <clears throat> there's something on the driver's side. It clicks when we hit a bump. <clears throat> Most likely it's going to be the sway bar link or the tie rod. <clears throat> but other than that, I mean, I'm going 40, it feels smooth. And I only spent $21.99, guys. And my time, a couple hours. It's always a way, it's always a way. Alright, here's how it looks on this side. And when I'm done, this side will look like that side. But, got the car running. Control arm, axle broke off. Headlight bumper, fender. We'll get it going soon. But it drives now, so. We should get around.